All right, so this is going to be a faster video. I'm going to actually do this at the pace that I would do if I were working with an actual patient. If you want more instructions or more, more detailed steps, you can go check out that other video that I just made. All right, so here's our arm. Start out by applying your tourniquet. Just like that. Pat around, look for a vein. Find the landmark, note the direction. Undo the tourniquet. Gather your supplies. Clean off your site. And then while that's drying, you assemble your equipment. Get your tubes in order. When you're actually working with the patient, I usually try to have like a stack of two or three and then a stack of one. But I'm just going to use one on one right now so I don't waste supplies. All right, my patient is dry. I'm going to apply that tourniquet again. I'm not going to actually tie it because this arm sometimes doesn't bleed when you tie it. Okay. Only uncap once you're ready to insert the needle. Sometimes you might have to rotate the safety of the device so it's not hitting the arm. Anchor the vein. Bevel upwards, smooth insertion. If you don't hit your vein, you can go in a little bit or you can pull back a little bit. Don't dig around. Uh, if you don't hit the vein, uh, pull out, start again. Um, start on the other arm. If you still can't get it after the second arm, uh, another phlebotomist or uh, other staff member needs to perform the venom puncture. You shouldn't be poking people more than twice. Okay. Ask your patient to hold that. Invert your tubes about eight times. Label it, check it with the patient, put it aside for processing later. Fold your gauze, take the thing, and then bend it up. There you go.